So for Mother's Day breakfast, we are going to be having a French toast bake. I wanted French toast for Mother's Day, but I needed green, so it's going to be a fresh green French toast bake. So all I have done so far is put two slices of bread across here. That'll be enough for everybody to have some if they want them. And in my blender, I'm going to be doing spinach and my mixture, which I will show you what I put in there as I do it. So, of course, we have our trusty spinach, which is going to be what's going to color. I gotta have plenty of it to make it green. Um, I'm hoping that'll be enough. I can always add more if need be. Hopefully I don't have to add any more. I don't want it to be super green and turn off as it is Mother's Day. And then I'm gonna be opening, actually I think I have one of these open already. Let me see if I can. Yep, I already had one of these in the fridge. So um, I'm gonna be using probably the, almost this whole thing aside from what I used for breakfast the other day. Um, so I'm gonna just dump it in. Quite a bit, I know, it seems like, but it's gotta coat all of that bread. So now I have added my egg whites and that, and now I'm gonna put my spices in. First things first, just some white sugar. Um, I want it to be sweet, and I'm afraid that if I don't put sugar in, that um, the celery will, will really be intense. So I'm just gonna add, I don't know, that was less than a fourth of a cup. Maybe I'll do a fourth, fourth of a cup of sugar. And then I'm going to be adding cinnamon, plenty of that as well. I'm also going to be adding nutmeg. Let me go get that. So I have some cloves, not too much of that because they're pretty, um, they're pretty intense. So a little bit of that. And I also have ground nutmeg. Love nutmeg. It's so yummy. Put a few sprinkles of that. And now I'm gonna blend this up. All right, that's pretty green. Now I'm gonna taste it just to make sure everything's good and then pour it over if it's good. All right, I think it's gonna be just fine. So the idea is that the bread will soak up all of this liquid and We'll bake it off and it'll be delicious. Nope. At least that's the idea. <laughs> I'm going to get a spoon and just make sure I coat all of this really good real quick. Um, and then I'll probably do a sprinkle of sugar just on top as a coating. Okay, so I sprinkled a little bit of sugar, spread that out a little bit. And it's ready to go. I'm going to put it in the fridge overnight, and then tomorrow we'll bake it, or I should say today, we will bake it at um, 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes. And I think it should be done in about that amount of time. Um, but definitely, if you're going to try doing some kind of bake like this, I haven't did this in a very long time. Um, so make sure you just check it and make sure it's done. Good morning and happy Mother's Day. Um, we are going to be having that green French toast that you just saw me make from last night. Watch out, baby. Back up. Um, I'm going to pull it out and show you what it looks like. And here it is after it's been baked. I'm going to plate it up and get me some breakfast, and then we got to head to church. And here it is all plated up. So, yes, I am having strawberries and blueberries. It is Mother's Day. I am going to be very slack on myself today. Um, but I am having green French toast, so I think that is saying something. Um, so, yep, I'm going to eat this. Well, guys, we are back from church, and Michael had to run to work, and Gage also had to run to work. So, I'm just standing around the house kind of waiting on them. We are going to head to my aunt's house for our annual cookout um, for Mother's Day. The guys always do, like, a barbecue for us. So, I'm going to be going over there and eating today. Um, I probably will finish out my meals over there, I would assume. Usually we're over there pretty late. I'm going to be very lenient with myself. I will show you guys what I eat. Um, and in full disclosure, <laughs> it will probably not be super green. I will have green on my plate for sure. But it probably won't be super green just because um, it's Mother's Day and I want to enjoy myself. So... Just so you guys know ahead of time, not to expect super green today, um, but I hopefully you guys understand. 
<laughs> Anyways, um, I will definitely video that for you. I am actually going to go in the, the kitchen and get me some coffee. Because it's Mother's Day, I am giving myself this leniency of having a cup of coffee. Um, so I'm going to get me a cup of coffee really quick. So I have gotten my coffee in my travel mug so I can take it with me. So Michael and I are going to try this key lime pie while we are waiting on Gage. He had to go to work and Michael's back from work now. Yay! And I'm trying these uh, cheese snack crisps. They're like a cheese puff that don't taste like cheese. <laughs> Anyway, so we're gonna have, we're gonna try this and see if we like it or not. Okay. What's it smell like? Really sweet. Oh, almost like soap. Really? It's a lot, it's cute lime. I'm not a huge fan of lime, but. I am. Oh. I like lime. You like lime, Kinsley? I am serious. I do like mom. Yeah. It's actually not bad. Yeah? Really sweet. Well, it's Kit Kat. Like, sickening sweet. <laughs> it's Kit Kat. It's candy. Alright, you should try it now. My turn? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it kind of good. It kind of like smells it. like, it kind of tastes like soap to me, too. Have you ate soap? No, but you know it smells like. I'm just saying. Right, it is like pure sugar, but it is Kit Kat. It's candy. It's like, but I really like the flavor. It's pretty good. I don't. Good. You like it? Mm -hmm. Yes, Elizabeth, you can try it. Can I try it? Hensley wants to try one. Two more left. Mm -hmm. okay. It's good. What do you think, Kendall? I think it's good. You like it? Mm. You guys like it? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Here is lunch. We are having grilled asparagus, grilled zucchini. I did get a little macaroni salad, uh, chicken with some barbecue, and then a very green salad, but it does have some orange and red from the carrots and tomatoes. And that sauce, the uh, dressing, is actually green too. It's called green goodness, I think. So that's going to be my lunch. For dessert, we're having angel food cake with strawberries and ice cream. And of course, I'm having another cup of coffee to go with my dessert. <laughs> Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you all had a very blessed Mother's Day, and I hope you come back again tomorrow. We will be spinning our wheel and seeing what color of food we will be having for this next week. I hope you guys are enjoying this challenge, and I'll see you again tomorrow.